How many of you see yourselves as knowledge brokers? Please stand up if you do. Are you in the knowledge broking business, connecting these people with those people, getting them to share the knowledge? Little bits, okay. Unfortunately now, the world has moved and you've got to be a knowledge broker plus, which means three things. One is, you've got to deliver the knowledge to people before they even know they need it. We have sensing algorithms, we have tools that watch when people open a new project code and we ship them stuff. We say you need this. We have all kinds of stuff that tells us, you should know that your client has just attended a Deloitte webinar. Um, you better reach out to them, connect in, see if they need any help. You should know that your client is connected with these people in Deloitte, and so you should possibly connect with them and find out what they're all doing. So we're pushing stuff to people. That's part one of the knowledge broker exercise. The second one is you do still need websites and shared spaces. You know, especially in our organization where we're adding 20, 30, 40,000 people, um, you need to have a place people can go to find stuff. So websites don't go away. The librarian curator role does not go away. You do need that. Um, but what you really need it for is to feed the other two systems. And then the third system, we call it D-Flow, Deloitte Workflow. The idea is to put the knowledge where people do the work. Right now, in most knowledge management, you go over here and you check out a website and then you go over here and you do your work. Whether that's a SharePoint site or OneDrive or Slack or whatever it is, they're separate. We put the two together. You get provisioned with a D-Flow site when you're doing a pursuit and it comes preloaded with all the stuff you need to win the work. I'll show you the numbers on that in a little while. It's kind of a fun way to do things and I think our, our guys are showing a demo of it. But if you need one, please give us a shout. Um, and there's two kinds of knowledge in this. One is knowledge about process. So basically, how do you do this kind of project? I'm being asked to do a cyber threat analysis. Generally, how do I do it? So that's a Chevron model and shows the phases. And then there's knowledge in process. So I have done the initial assessment using the cyber strategy framework. What do I do next? Well, you print out the results and here's how you discuss each result with a client. And here's the ones you discuss with the CISO, and here are the ones that you discuss with members of his or her team. So we provide both of those kinds of knowledge, the knowledge about process, the knowledge in process. Have to do that because otherwise you can't get solid metrics on the value you're adding. 